With Christmas just around the corner, a lot of family friends have been asking me personally what kind of guitar to get, and I've taught hundreds of students, and I've tried a ton of their low-end guitars, and a few of them have surprised me. So today, I want to give you my recommendation for a starter guitar. Briefly go over the accessories that everyone needs, which is basically something to tune your guitar with, some extra strings, some picks. And if you take a look below, you'll see that there are zero links or affiliations because I'm not trying to make commission or sell anything. This is an honest, straight to the point, what guitar should I buy type of lesson because my actual goal is to help create more future guitarists. And next time a personal friend asks me what guitar they should get, I'm just going to send them a link to this video, you know, and I don't want to mix business and friendship. So that's where I'm coming from here. Now, before I reveal my buying tips, when you do decide on a guitar and you want to start learning guitar, I have a bunch of resources. You should definitely pick up my free ebook. I'll put a link in the corner for that. And it's completely free for all my subscribers. You can sign up now. It'll get emailed to your inbox, has everything that you need to get started. Anyways, um, the other day, one of my wife's old friends from high school wanted to buy a guitar for her son. So she messaged my wife asking for my opinion. And I quickly gave her my number one recommendation, which is a Yamaha FG 800 or FS 800, which is the same thing, but it has a smaller body. And that's my standard recommendation for a beginner because you get a solid top, which is really important as far as the sound or the tone of the acoustic guitar is concerned. And it's literally the cheapest guitar that's guaranteed to be playable right out of the box. The FG 800 is the cheapest solid top guitar you can get that feels good and is easy to play. You know, they're like, about 200 something US dollars, 280 Canadian. And you know, that's I think the cheapest you can pay for a proper guitar. Anyways, I give her this recommendation and then she starts saying, hey, how about this guitar? How about that guitar? And starts naming off all these like Costco and Walmart $100 guitars. And I basically told her, you know, maybe in slightly kinder words, if you want your kid to quit, buy that Walmart guitar because it's gonna be hard to play. It's not gonna sound very good. It's gonna retain zero resale value. You know, you might as well save that money, put it towards an Xbox or whatever, because it's definitely not going to do you much good as an instrument. And I know this might be harsh there, you know, for sure. There's people out there ripping on $50 guitars, but for the average student, you're going to want something that's easy to play and that sounds really nice and is going to last you long enough to the point where you could use it, you know, at an open mic, you could join a band and they're not going to laugh, laugh at you for having, nobody's really going to laugh at you for it. I'm just like, you know, hypothetically, they're not going to laugh at you for having some Toys R Us guitar, you know? So anyways, what I ended up doing was I typed acoustic guitar on Craigslist and I set the price range from 100 to $200. And I found an FG 800 that somebody was selling and it was going for 170 Canadian, which is a killer deal, a hundred bucks cheaper than the original price. And I just sent her the link. I, I hope she bought it, you know, but I haven't actually followed up on this. And that leads me to my next point. If you absolutely want to get the most cost effective guitar, go on Craigslist or Facebook marketplace and Find a friend who can already play guitar very well. That's the secret ingredient. You know, you bring that friend with you to go check out a few guitars. You do the driving, you buy them a coffee or lunch or a beer, whatever, you know, and they are going to save you a ton of money because when you go used, you can probably get the guitar for about 60 to 70% of the original price. That's kind of the average. You know, you're talking to somebody who like every guitar and app you see here, I bought on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. And I did the calculation. I roughly paid 60 to 70% for everything. Otherwise I don't buy it, you know, if it's not in that price range. And um, you can usually resell it for exactly what you paid. So if you find that, you know, they don't use it for a couple of years, you go sell it and you'll recoup exactly what you paid, give or take like 20 bucks, you know? And when you buy it new, like when you drive the, the brand new car off the lot, it's already losing a ton of value. So that's my advice if you're a bargain hunter like myself. If you're buying a guitar for somebody with smaller hands, like a teenager or a kid, or maybe you yourself have smaller hands, another guitar in this exact same price range and same build quality, you know, the same kind of materials, the Yamaha APX-T2. And that's a three quarter size guitar. So the entire guitar is shrunken down to three quarters of the size of a normal guitar. And you know, the frets are smaller, everything's smaller, and it feels much easier to play if you have smaller hands. So 
that should pretty much cover it. And you know, all those guitars are just over 200 US, 280 Canadian as of late 2022. Finally, when you do decide on a guitar, there's a couple things that you should buy along with it. An electronic tuner, and that's something that you just clip onto your guitar and you can tune up super easily. It's like 99% mandatory and every guitarist has one. I like the Ernie Ball Flex Tune because it has a huge screen. It's really simple to use. There are some other ones. You know, the most popular is Snark, but I've had three break on me. So I have a bit of a personal vendetta, you know, like I'm sure there's lots of people who have gotten, they've had a great time. They've gotten their value out of them, but I have three broken ones. So I'm not going to recommend it personally. Um, guitar picks are also a must have. Uh, you can play guitar with just your fingers, but any good teacher is going to recommend starting with a pick for many very good reasons. Um, you can find these variety packs and it's a great way to get a bunch of different picks so you can find the right one for you. You want to start with a very thin pick. You know, it'll make your strumming sound a lot better right off the bat. Finally, the other thing you should get is extra strings. Whatever type of strings are already on your guitar when you're purchasing it, you should get the exact same strings. If you get a different thickness or a different type of string, it'll change how the guitar feels, you know, how hard it is to press the strings and so on. The string thicknesses, they're written on the package, like 12, 16, whatever. It lists all six strings. Uh, just make sure it matches, you know, because the day will come when your strings start feeling really old and your guitar is not fun to play or one of them might even break. And if you have to go out and buy a pack of strings or maybe you got to wait for them to, you know, get delivered from Amazon or whatever, you're going to lose out on some valuable practice sessions. So, you know, this is the way to be prepared. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, please take a moment to like and subscribe. I have tons of guitar lessons here on the channel. And if you would like a guided path, you know, once you do get your guitar and you just want to be able to play songs, learn all the techniques, everything that you need to do to sound like a good guitarist, I have a complete beginner's course that takes you step by step from absolute beginner to confident strummer. I'm going to put a link to that in the corner and down below. And that's the best way to help support the channel and for you to reach your goals as quickly as possible, you know, to be able to play songs and make it sound like the actual song. Otherwise, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I wish you luck in your search for the right guitar. Take care and hopefully I'll see you soon.